Hi, this is Ebony, and in this tutorial, we will explore how to add course materials in Google Classroom and look at ways to utilize this feature to organize resources that students need to access frequently. To add course materials or resources in Google Classroom, you're going to need to go to the Classwork page first. Once you're there, before you even begin to add materials, think about the resources that your students will need frequent access to in order to be successful in your distance learning environment, especially with this compared to a face-to-face. -face. This could be documents, it could be websites, it could be videos like tutorials, and any, anything that they may or resource they may need, plan and then also plan how you would like to organize them on the Classroom page. One of the best ways to organize in Google Classroom is to use topics. So you can go ahead and create a topic for how you for where you want to house uh, the topic you want to house all these resources under. You could do class materials, it could be class resources, but whatever you decide, whatever your name and convention that you choose, add it and then also communicate it with your students and parents so that they understand that this is where those resources will always be housed and easy to find. So on my page for this tutorial, I've already created and organized one called Under the Topic Class Materials. And you'll see I've already added a few resources there. The next thing, after I've added my topic for organization, I can go ahead and begin adding those materials I've kind of started curating. If I tap on Create and go to Material. So here's where you can add, let's say I want to add um, a frequently asked question document for the common questions that I ask and I will house them here. So for those questions that students ask constantly and I've got a lot of them, this is a good place to, to put those questions and the answers so that any student that needs it can just go in and find that. Because if one, if you have more than two people asking the question, there are several more people that need that help. So once you have your document there, when for any post when using materials, you can also add you can add more than one resource. So you may have a file, you may have videos, links, whatever those. If, especially if you're packaging them together as one organized resource, the more that they're together instead of separate posts, the easier it is for the users, the student, and the parent. I also may want to add a link. And now all my materials or resources that I want to post under this topic or, or under this title are ready to go. Once you have your materials or resources there, you can go in and choose your classroom. If you have more than one classroom that you want to share these resources with, choose a all the classrooms you want to. You may want to do it with all students, or you may have a resource that's only for certain kids. You can go in and select those students. Choose your topic, and then you can post. Of course, you have the option of posting immediately, scheduling it, or saving it as a draft if you need to add more to it later. Now, once you've got all your materials, or your resources under your class materials topic and you've got them organized, you may want to also look at how the placement of the actual resources um, underneath that topic. Some of them may be more frequently used than others and you may want to move those towards the top. For example, like the class schedule would probably be accessed more often by contact information, virtual meeting tips, and then frequently asked questions. One of the other things, because this is one of those, this is a resource that we're putting together for kids to help them be independent as they and, and self-sufficient in this classroom in the distance learning environment, and also to help parents with helping their students, you may want to move this to the top. So if you tap on those three dots and move up, it can be that thing, the, the resources are always there, easy to find, and ready to go. And that can live here at all throughout the, the course. You can also move any of the other ones if you need to, but putting this here is just makes it easy. It's up front and center. Some other things or other materials or resources you may consider adding to your class materials topic or resources over your, your virtual meeting norms, possibly a class motto, 
syllabus, and there's so many more um, other resources. You don't want to overcrowd it, but you do want to make sure that those things that are going to be frequently used, sites, tutorials, or any of that things of that nature that are going to be necessary for students to be successful, you might want to post those there. And always don't forget to collaborate with your team members because they may even have some more ideas for you to help you with this. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode.